This is Minister Paul in Northern California with an urgent, immediate prayer request for two of our online church members. It's Brother Al. He's our Berean who holds us accountable and researches the scripture. And his wife, Dottie, uh, who just runs a powerful ministry on Facebook and reaches so many lives. You know, they, they pray for so many people. I feel the Holy Spirit right now. They they have put out a 911 urgent prayer request to me via email. I don't know how much longer they'll have uh, internet or power. So I'm just showing you, I'm looking at some damage here, giving you something to look at. But I don't know if you've been following this. This is bad. It's really bad. Um, what, what they've just emailed me and, and said is, because they live in this affected area, is that... Uh, the water is coming up their driveway right now as I speak. And I just felt led to come on here and ask you to come into agreement with me for a supernatural, miraculous protection for them and their home and their area and for everyone else in Texas. His exact words were, it's, it's, uh, I, need, I need to send out an urgent prayer request. The water is coming up our driveway. It has not came in our house yet, but if it continues to rain, it will. And the forecast is 25 more inches of rain. But God is able. God can split the Red Sea. So again, I'll, I'll put the names in the description box. It's Brother Al and Sister Dottie being affected by Hurricane Harvey. And they are asking for prayers. You know, We lift you up, brother and sister, and everybody up in the path of this. Uh, and, and we trust God. Amen. Real quickly, the other thing that's breaking right now, in process, 828, uh, Monday, 228 p.m., that's Pacific Standard Time, is North Korea's launched yet another missile, and it's a SLBM, which I believe stands for Submarine Launched Ballistic Missile. So it is a ballistic missile, and it's, it is flown over Japan. It, this thing has went over Japan and ha has not landed yet. The missile is still airborne and heading west as far as we know. This is how fast things can happen. Uh, I believe this is going to provoke a response. North Korea missile has passed over Japan and landed in the East Sea. Japan has said previously it would attempt to shoot down North Korea missiles if they threatened Japan on a course to hit the country. What? Oh, Lord Jesus, look at these things, keeping you updated. I'm going to bring up a map real quick. Okay, a lot of conflicting news going on uh, as I sit here and pray and watch and warn. Here's North Korea. It has now been changed that it's flying to the east. And it. Uh, the Prime Minister of Japan, Abe, had made a comment that he would keep his people safe. And what that means is would shoot it down. That's what he said he'd do. Last I heard, it has flown over Japan and now heading east. So Guam is out here. I don't know. I don't know what their target is. This is clearly a provocation. Let's uh, let's go back to Twitter Live. I mean, this man, you know, and I'm preparing my sermon. On, on just these things, the signs that were in the end times. I mean, <laughs> okay, so there's been three projectiles filed. Uh, three projectiles were filed. When they don't know what type of missile is, they call them projectile, but are, this, these are missiles. Japan's government is saying North Korea fired three missiles, all at 5.58 Japanese time. I'm trying to get an update before I put this up. Propaganda text writers frantically writing news announcements. Text now. Okay, this is saying that uh, North Korea fired not one but three missiles. So there, I guess there is no update. Let me let me get this up and uh, I'll put the updates in the comments. Remember, pray for Brother Al, Sister Dottie first and foremost in uh, Psalm 91. Blessed protection from Jesus Christ's promises over everyone watching this video.